friends, family, subscribers to the YouTube channel Adventuring with the SGOCC. Today is Shotgun Presentation Day. To start off, here we have our father's Remington 16 gauge pump shotgun. This is a break apart gun, it's a Model 31. This gun has been in our family because my dad inherited it from his father. So this is third generation uh, in the family. It's the oldest gun in the family. Um, Steve has a few, but he won't give them up. Anyways, this gun has put more birds on our table over our lifetime, especially as youth, dove, pheasant, than any other gun in the family. Ducks. It's a fantastic gun. It, uh, Remington has just fantastic products down through the history of the United States. I would even go so far as to call it America's gun maker. And look at the length of that barrel. Jesus. I can't so, even put it in the full frame. Turn it sideways. This is a, this is a 16 gauge shotgun. To give you an idea, maybe Tim can zoom in. Here's the difference. The black shell is a 16 gauge. The red shell is a 12 gauge. You can see from the height, they're pretty much the same, but the diameter is substantially different. 16 gauge is a great bird gun. 12 gauge is great for larger birds like geese um, uh, and other birds like that, game birds. 16 gauge though is fantastic for just about everything. If you can draw the geese in close enough, this will take them down. This resides over at Tim's in his gun safe. Fantastic gun. It's another inherited gun in the family. This one, as I said, was originally our grandfather's. Yeah, turn it turn it completely and sideways and then so everybody can get a good look at it. It was originally our grandfather's. My father inherited it, and then Tim inherited it. So it's been in the family for three generations. Woodstock, Remington, Model 31. Love this gun. I'm going to hand it to Tim, and I'm going to grab another one in the family. Now, what's great about the 16-gauge is it has one of the tightest chokes for a shotgun. Whether it's 20-gauge, 12, 16, 10, has an incredibly tight choke. So this is a Stevens Model 320. It's a 12-gauge. I took the plug out of it, so it holds seven shots, I believe, with one in the chamber. Uh, it's a typical 12 gauge. It is a pump like all of our guns. Uh, it's a solid gun. You can pick this up at Walmart anywhere in the United States for under $150. It's a good solid gun. If you want to get out hunting ducks, geese, birds of all types, this is your fellow. You're going to have to change your ammunition based on what birds you're going after. Uh, but, you know, we, we leave that to the customer to decide. Uh, it's a reliable gun. Uh, hasn't been fired all that often because it sits in the gun safe a lot of times. It's a full-size 12 gauge. You can see by the length of it, it's got a polymer stock, uh, steel construction, polymer pump. Um, it's, a, it's a solid gun. It's a modern day 12 gauge shotgun and it's cheap and it's effective. And, and there is a specific sound for pump shotguns that make burglars shit themselves if they try to get in. Nothing sounds better than that. That's number two. Number three on our list of 12 gauges Oops. is this little feather. This is a George, George Arms, or G-Force Arms, I'm sorry. My... Uh, I don't have my read glasses on. It's a model P3 12 gauge, three inch chamber. Uh, it's manufactured in Turkey by Radical, spelled with a D. It, like all our other guns, is a pump. This one is called, uh, by definition, I believe it's referred to. Wait, 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 wait. Let me guess. F around and find out. Uh, no, that's the last one. Oh, okay. Just by profile alone. But this is a short barrel. It's not a cut barrel. This is absolutely factory. But this is this is what you want for home defense. It's got a short barrel so you can swing it around real easy. Uh, it's 12 gauge. 
so it's going to have some stopping power. Um, it makes the definitive 12 gauge pump sound. Somebody's coming into your house, they hear that, they usually walk the other way. Uh, this one is nice because it's lightweight because of its metal construction and the way it's constructed. <laughs> this one sits next to my bed. It is a 12 gauge, takes the red bullet. Now, um, all day long, this will hold, and again, the plug's out, and the plug goes from here to here usually. This one will hold uh, six rounds plus one in the chamber, so seven rounds. Uh, it's a good gun, good home defense weapon. It's lightweight because of the, the metal that's used and the polymer stock. It's a good solid gun. I think I paid... From Cow Ranch, I think I paid two and a quarter or 180 for this gun, and it's been a few years, so I don't quite remember. But I've taken it out a few times. Uh, it's a good gun. My nephew has shot it. Uh, it's a good, solid gun. Which nephew? Matthew. He's been on our channel. Yes, he has. He's a good kid. I like that kid. He is. He lived with me for a few years when he was a teenager. But the one that puts the scare into people... The one that you pull out of the safe if you've really got a problem. Oh, sorry about the camera view, uh, moving a little uh, weird. What I lovingly refer to is Floyd. Now, Floyd is a serious gun. Palmer stock, metal construction. It's got a heat shield on the top. It's got a, uh, a Picatinny rail so you could put some furniture on this. It's a good solid gun. Uh, it likes to be pumped, but the real deal with this is it comes with a five round magazine. That's the little one. You can add a 10 round magazine and what I've done is I've taped them together. So when this is all together, it has a profile that is absolutely terrifying. When you have 15 rounds in a pump action shotgun that is absolutely reliable, by the way, that's why I like pump-action shotguns better than semi-automatics. Pumps are absolutely reliable. If they jam, you can unjam them like that, and you've got another round coming up. When you pull this baby out, if you're a bad guy and a good guy pulls this out, you literally start shitting your pants. It's just going to happen. This is, this is what home defense is. You come through my door. And I get to my safe, and I grab this, you better run. Because I've got 15 chances of putting you down inside my home. And that's what home defense is all about. In a panic situation where somebody's breaking into your house, you don't have the calmness, the even-tonedness to answer that action with anything but a widespread 24-inch spread shotgun blast and as Tim mentioned earlier most people when they hear that sound they know to run this thing gets a little bit heavy with 15 rounds in it but if, if you want a, a deep magazine that will give you shot after shot after shot reliably this is what you want uh, this is called a VRPA-40. It is also made in Turkey. It is imported to Pahrump, Nevada. And it's from Daria Arms in Turkey. I know a lot of people deride overseas manufacturers. I've got two shotguns from Turkey from two different manufacturers. I think they're fantastic. They're solidly made, they're reliable as all get out, and um, I just like them. You keep them oiled, you care for them, they're going to always be there for you when you need them. Now, I got a couple questions for you. Hang on. Hopefully, though, you won't ever need them. But the Boy Scout is motto, motto is always be prepared. Go ahead. Now, first question, especially with this particular shotgun, you're going to have some unknowledgeable people saying, well, you don't need that many rounds for home defense. Recently, in California and New York, 
It is three to five people per home invasion. Now, in a panic situation, you have three shots, but you have three to five assailants. On average, nobody has practice shooting at another human because they kind of deem that illegal. You're not going to, there's a 80% chance in some circumstances, your first two to three shots, you're missing. Yep. You're going to hit nothing but air. You want 15 rounds because at the end, it would be better to have five rounds left in your magazine than have five rounds put into you. And that's just common sense. I want all the ammunition I can possibly have immediate access to. And when I say immediate access, that's immediate access. Bang, bang, bang. Now I've already missed three times and the five assailants that came through my door, they're still coming. Get them again. Get them again. Now I've got their attention. I flip my mag over and I've got 10 rounds. Okay. Have you understood? You're not welcome in my home. And the survival rate of most home invasions, and you can actually look this up on uh, the FBI uh, criminal website, is only 60%. That's survival rate. Most home invasions, they will kill you. Not take you prisoner, not tie you up and leave you alone and just take all your crap. That's all from the movies. No, most home invasion people do not want witnesses because if there's nobody there that can identify them, they won't go to prison. Hey, Tim, is this another one of your beautiful dogs? Is that Cleo? <gasps> Cleo? Yeah. Hi, come here, honey. Yeah. Yeah, I brought Cleo with me today for today's shoot. She's the old lady of the family and the dogs, uh, but she is... Got more energy at age 11 than Jax does at age 9. <laughs> and I know you can't see Jax, but a couple of paws behind her. Hi, Bubba. Yeah. Cleo, come. Yeah. That's a good girl. And this is, Jax. this is Jax. This is Jeff's little puppy. He was a rescue I got out of Bastrop, Texas. Um, two or three years before I moved out of Texas. So that's three. I've been in Arizona seven. So he's 10 years old. Now, I'm not saying that dogs normally reflect the size of the humans. Okay, I am saying it. Yeah, Jax is a little overweight. I don't know how you can say that. Je Jeff's, Jeff is a tiny bit overweight. But I'm still losing weight. I mean, here's a shirt I haven't worn in years, and it hangs kind of loose on me. Yeah. So here's my baby. I'm still losing weight, still working at it, um, still trying to get my legs better, because with better legs, I'll be able to walk more. So this is a long video, but we're going to stretch some shorts out of it, because we're trying to stick to the shorts every day thing. I'm uh, trying to give you guys a, a closer look per shotgun. And they're great for home defense and if you need to survive out in the boonies, hunting, that type of thing. This is our lightest, as in weighs the least, 12 gauge pump. And it's the shortest barrel as well. And here I'll give you in just a few moments once we get the rest of these. You're close up from stock to tip. And that silver one is a lot lighter than even my 16 gauge, which doesn't weigh as much as the two 12 gauges. But here in a second, and there's not very, and the thing about 16 gauges, most people don't manufacture 16 gauge shotguns anymore. They're not popular. Or the ammunition. Well, yeah, the ammunition is getting harder and harder to try can, to come up with. You can reload your own, but, and most, most gun enthusiasts do reload their own. So, the two shortish shotguns, as you can see here, are only about half inch, three quarters of an inch shorter 
And the other two shotguns, you can't even see the tips of the barrels. So we're going to move a little further. And you can see the longest 12 gauge shotgun is about half inch to three quarters of an inch longer than my 16 gauge. Now, from what I understand, most 16 gauge barrels were not this long. They were much shorter, which had a wider choke. The longer the barrel, the tighter your, your spread's going to be at yardage. So with that 16 gauge shotgun at 50 yards, it's about a 12 inch diameter shot or what they call a choke point. They're great weapons. They're not, they're not complicated. They're easy to clean, work on. You have anything else? No, just uh, if you're worried about home defense and you're worried about people breaking into your house, go get you a 12 gauge. There's a large selection to choose from. Oh, be realistic with what you need it for, and make sure you get plenty of ammunition. And I, I know we already did a a, a close up, um, of these two shells. This is the 16 gauge here, the black one, and it's inch seven eight or uh, seven and a half, two and a half, one, seven and a half. I don't know if this has the same type of. This buckshot, double yeah. lock buck. Now, 16 gauge doesn't really come with a variety of that I've been I've been able to find on the internet or at gun stores. Um, I don't know if they make 16 gauge slugs, 16 inch, uh, 16 gauge dragon's fire, or anything like that. Doubtful. 12 gauge is a sturdier weapon that'll handle different loads and especially harder loads. 16 gauge <laughs> is a better gun. Cleo. Cleo. Cleo's kind of the protector of uh, my house. Oh, Cleo. You're such a good girl. Yeah. You know that tail is whipping kind of hard there, Cleo. I don't feel a thing. Anyways. Since Cassie's not here, I guess I'll say it. More to follow, and this has been a Fun Brothers production.